Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Mathematics, channel with really interesting challenges every day. And today we have a really interesting question, 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 and times 0. So this looks like a pretty easy problem, but many of you are going to get this wrong and you'll probably be a little bit shocked, but don't panic. I'm going to fully explain you why you're probably going to get this wrong and how to avoid this particular mistake. Well, let me go ahead and tell you the problem we have. So here is our question, 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 and times 0. We're is the question on the first side, yeah? And uh, what is the correct answer? What do you think? Right here we have three options, so choose an option, what do you think is the correct, and write your option down into the comment section. And of course, we don't want to use our calculators, let's use our super brain in our head, so choose an option, what do you think is the correct, and write your option down into the comment section. It is really interesting and very tricky question, so 94% make this mistake, and I want you to solve this, of course, correctly. So here is our challenge, and I want to start with this explanation. So we have two... We have 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 and times 0. From school you know that doesn't matter what number you have, what value you have on the left hand side. For example, we have right here we have 8, yeah, we have 2 plus 2 plus 2, we have 8. If you multiply it by 0, we have 0. Doesn't matter, maybe you have 100 times 0. If you multiply by 0, we have 0. So one part of students solve this question like that. They say that we should uh, add it first, then multiplication, and doesn't matter what expression we have on the left hand side. If you multiply it by 0, we have we have 0. So on the first side, the correct answer is A, and a lot of students solve it as A, so as they say that the correct answer is option A. You should understand that in math we should know about order of operation, we should know what is the correct order to do this problem, because right here we have addition, we have multiplication, and uh, what is the correct order to do this problem, because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. For this question, let's look, for example, at this PDMC, this is the most popular order of operation in the world, all internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. And let's solve this question according to PMDMC and let's check with this zero. Let's check this zero, maybe zero is a correct answer, I don't know exactly, but let's do this. So here's our question, 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 and times 0. So here is our question and let's go through this PMDMC. So first step is parentheses. Let's look at it, where do we have this parentheses sign? For me personally, I don't see any parentheses, so we just go to the next step. So we don't have any parentheses, we just keep this part with parentheses, and let's go to the next step. The next step is exponents. What about exponents? Let's look at it, where do we have maybe exponents, maybe 2 square, maybe 2 cube. For me personally, I don't see any exponents, so we just keep this part, with this exponent part, so we have parentheses and exponent. It is really good, let's go to the next step. The next step is multiplication and division group. A lot of students forget about this, they say that multiplication, now we should find multiplication sign, but we should add to this multiplication, we should add division, because this is one common group which have the same priority. So right now we should scan, where do we have multiplication and division sign? Let's look at it, right here we have addition, 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 and right here we have multiplication, but this multiplication we apply only to these two values, only to this two and only to this zero, not as right here we apply it to hold this expression with this addition, addition sign. We apply this expression only, we apply this rule only to these two values, 2 and 0. So we have multiplication part and we don't have any division sign, so we just skip this part. So as you can see, parentheses, exponent, division, we skip this part, but we have multiplication parts. So we should start from this multiplication. And I want to go first, right here we have addition and subtraction part, and we don't have any subtraction sign, but we have addition sign. We have a lot of ad addition signs. So as you can see, we have only two steps. We have only multiplication and only addition, only two steps, and multiplication is all the time before addition, so we should multiply it first or divide, because this is one common group, and then we should add or subtract. This is the main rule you, you should know, you should, you should learn in this video. So, here is our addition, we don't, we don't touch this sign, so 2 plus 2 plus 2 at plus, 2 times 0 equal to, equal to 0. This is our first step to multiply this 2 times 0, and the second step is addition. As I told before, after this multiplication step, we have this addition, addition step, so we just add these three values, 2 plus 2 plus 2, which is equal to equal to 6, option B. And right now, maybe the main question, what is the correct answer? Right here, B, right here, option A, we have 0, we have 6. So, a lot of students solve this question like that, which is very bad, because this is wrong solution, because you can't add at first, then multiply. Of course, with parentheses, this question will be great, because right here, parentheses is our first step, and we should solve this expression in our parentheses. We have 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 equal to 8, and we have 
a times 0 equal to 0. With parentheses, a correct answer is option A. But in our case, we don't have parentheses, so we reject this, reject this solution, and the correct answer is option B, because we should know that multiplication is before addition, and we don't apply multiplication to the whole expression with this division, which is very bad solution. So the correct answer is option B. So I hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learned something new. And if you need to, if you need help with any of these classes, you can just go through my YouTube channel. I have a ton of videos. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.